Why is it that we get an error message when trying to add a new bit package to our project? So here, what I'm going to do is click on another project, add new bit package, and I'm going to search for a famous new bit package called MailKit. And you can see that we got an error message to say no package is found. Why do we get this error message? The reason is there is no new bit package source. So if we have a look at this directory here, which is under user account and an updater roaming NuGet. And if I open this up and if we look at the package source, you can see it's empty. There are no package sources. If we go back to our browser here, we can see MailKit is definitely on NuGet.org. It's definitely a valid package. And if I go over to this tab, this command over here in the example where we are trying to add NuGet.org, copy this command and simply rename this URL. And this URL is the same URL as this one over here. So what we'll do is we'll copy that. So here we are back in the Reader Studio code. And what we'll do is we'll right click on our solution, open into Cricut Terminal, and we're going to paste the command in and then press enter. Package source with name NuGet.org added successfully. The configuration file now has package source NuGet.org. So now if we try and add a package to our application, so add maybe package, search for mail kit. Now we get the results. So if we select the latest one, and now if we expand our project, and um, if we have a look at packages, and you can see here in the packages, we now have the mail kit package. Then we can do the same with the second application. Notice here that we don't have packages, or we have uh, the framework. So what we're doing is we'll add the mail kit package to this project as well. We will right click, add new package, mail kit, and we'll select mail kit. And this time we'll install a slightly different version. So we'll install 3.40. And notice down here that you will get packages, and we now have mail kit 3.40. We're first project here at the package 2.52. Now there is one peculiar situation I want you to be aware of. If we put this configuration file just in one project, press control and then drag this over here to this folder for console application one and then within the main file here. So now it's made a copy of the original. So we can see it's got that maybe.org but within this form, within the app data folder, if we get rid of this or have any package sources and um, save this. And now if we go over to our third application where we had no packages installed, you can see here if I try and add a new bit package called mail kit and you will get an error message to say no package is found. This is because the configuration file, the central one, doesn't have any package source. It's only the localized one, which is in console app one that has it. So for example, I can manage new bit package. And then if we search for mail kit again, then what we'll do is we'll try and add a different version like 2.31. If I expand this dependencies and then go into packages and you can see it's changed the number to 2.31. So the configuration file can be localized per project or it can be centralized, but it can also be made available to the solution by simply dragging the file over to the solution. So we'll add it to our solution. And as you can see here, we now added it to our solution. So this should now be available within the third application. So if we add a new bit package, I search for our kit game. And as you can see, we get the results. So if we select a different version for this one, 2.03. And if I expand this, you shall see that shortly appearing here. And you can see package has appeared, 2.03. This is because we moved the configuration file for NuGet to the solution level. So it's available to all three projects.